Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to Opera Omnia video. And due to possible Final Fantasy VII music being played, and also possibly using his burst weapon, I cannot play any music in this game because I will get slapped in the face with a copyright claim. And so we're just going to go ahead and play my own music. And we're just going to go ahead and do that. So that's really the only thing I wanted to mention. Let's just get into it now. So with Cloud, this should be pretty easy with what I researched. So it shouldn't be that bad, right guys? Shouldn't be that bad. Um, yeah, shouldn't be too, shouldn't be too bad. Starved by delaying them and all that kind of good stuff there. Push back quite a long time and stuff like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and push them back even further. It reminds me of the days of old. The days of old in boss fights where you could just do this and like you can also get away with it if you if you were able to do that. And also, Root is very good with Cloud because Cloud really wants a lot of BRV. And who gives it to him more than anyone else? Root. So Root is a really good one to have on your team with Cloud. Or any damage dealer, really. Because, I mean, whoops. We're we'll doing HP attack now. I'm so used to doing the BRV one. I oh, didn't get a chance. That's all right. So we're gonna be sending them back even further. And then break them. I don't want to, probably want to paralyze them soon. So this warp phase, I'm definitely gonna be recording, but probably after this, I'm probably gonna record not record the, some segments because the orb segment, of course, is the most important part. But after that, it becomes I think it becomes a normal boss fight after this, from what I remember. So. Root is so amazing though guys, hope you guys got him. 28 turns now guys, 28 turns, we got this. This will do quite a bit. It would have been better if there was only one target, but they'll still do, yeah, they still did good damage for, you know, being back then and all that kind of good stuff, so. We'll be getting near the orb ending soon. So we've gotten through the orb phase, and now we're just grinding through some damage here, so. Just do as much damage as you possibly can, and also you want to save your summon phase for when they get to around 20 something percent, 29 percent I think, something like that. I'm gonna go ahead and save that um, number because they, they, get, they get really tanky after that, into that phase. It wasn't a real launch, but that's okay. <clears throat> so all we're really doing is just doing more damage. We're trying to get the next phase here. So the orbs don't appear for at least for a little while. So that's good, right? I'm hoping you guys can beat this too. I know I'm a little late to the party, as I usually am though, right? I'm usually pretty late to the party, guys. I don't have a lot of time to cover this game as much as I'd like. So that's about, that's about it. Took a little hit from that tail laser, if that's not a big deal. I'm gonna go ahead and paralyze him because he has this charge, he has his uh, bar charge. So we don't want that, guys. 
Cloud is really good for this fight, but you can also use um, Shantoto, I believe, but it'll be a little harder. Although Cl Cloud's, you know, paralyzed is not as easy to obtain either, if you think about it. He has to use something and then he has to use another thing first. So this is not the easiest to get either. I mean, it's not hard, but it's just like it's not... You can't just use it right away, right? I gotta wait. So I, I, I thought there was only two orb phases, but there's actually three orb phases. You gotta get to around... Uh, like 30-something percent. Hopefully we can get to that. We should be able to... May you break through? Never mind. I thought he'd be able to break through the shield. I forgot to use the free move. That's my bad. Nice. Uh, we're gonna have to push mech a little bit because of that uh, charge bar. Both of them have it. Apparently I've never gotten his um, upgrade on his extra skill. That's a that's a bummer. Why have I never done that? That's, that's bizarre. I can serve skills. As much as possible, of course. And this will always shave them down a little bit of HP. Not nearly as much as I would like, but it's okay. He was so close to being broken. Won't really matter. We're gonna have to, gonna have to face the music eventually. Hopefully we can survive it. Ouch. Yeah, that hurt. Ouch. My bad, for, I, sh I probably should have attacked him instead. Making a lot of mistakes, but I think I can show you guys that you can still probably win, even if you do make a lot of mistakes, I think. Now we're at past that aura phase. We're getting to the home stretch here, guys, without starting around on moves, so I'm kind of worried about that. We've still the burst phase. We want to save that. For a little bit later. Now we would definitely want to use the the free move. Don't use the EX. The EX is a kind of a trap. Didn't break me, that's good. But this will break them. <sighs> this one's pretty reliable. Yeah, pretty good. 
And this one's getting a lot weaker, so we probably want to focus on the other one now. He's not going to be broken. Nope. Too much BRV for that one. Oh, and already in the next phase. So we definitely want to get to this, uh, this one here. Okay, we're good. We have the EX available. I'm hoping this will do enough to get him into the one phase as well. Nope. Not quite. Maybe this will? Still no. At least to the next phase. Okay, there we go. Now we want to summon, most likely. We want to, we want to uh, stall out as much as possible in this phase. Because they will be a lot more tanky and all that kind of stuff, so... We want to go out, don't save on any more skills, guys, because we also have the first phase, so we want to go all out, guys. We <laughs> got two free attacks. Perfect coughing in the mic. And this should be doing a lot more damage since we're in the summon. Probably not that much more. Well, well, it did, it did, it did decent. We still have a lot of things in our arsenal, guys. I think we have this in the bag. We have, we have a lot of things in our arsenal still, guys. I'm confident we can win. We have so many things left in our arsenal we can do. And they're, they're getting really low. Oh yeah, we still have this to do. Those will bring some pretty good debuffs for us, that's for sure. And this will definitely take it. Crush Hammer is a very good combination. And so is Meteor Rain. Although, actually, I take advantage of, of bursting right now, actually. Since they have the debuff available, we'll be breaking them every single time. I think this might end it already. Just keep them even, guys. Make sure you're keeping them even. Because you want them both to go down at the same time, or around the same time as most um, each time you want that to happen. And we'll go ahead and do that because it'll break them both and deal probably good damage since we're in the burst phase. Yeah, they're both at 8%. They're both at eight percent. I'll try. And I'll, I'll focus. On, I'll do this one because he has less warp. Um, turns on his warp, so we'll go ahead and fight him first. If you guys don't know about this, I mean, if you're a Final Fantasy VII fan but you haven't watched the movie, that's a direct reference from the movie AC, Evan Children. So go ahead and watch that. 
It's a pretty good movie, not you know the best movie of all time. But for Final Fantasy Seven music, it's pretty. Or Final Fantasy Seven movie is pretty good. Remember, guys, you go all out. Do not hold any more skills. Cause, like, what's the point of holding a skill at this point? Just, just, just go and do it. No point in holding skills anymore, guys. Just go out there in full force. I think this should be about it. I think we should be about it. Let's just do this because it's an AoE skill. And at the same time, over with. And we had almost all Final Fantasy Zone characters for this fight other than Amy, of course, because Amy is definitely a very, very good combination. If you don't have Amy, um, why didn't you pull her? <laughs> why didn't you pull her? But seriously, Amy is like top notch for this fight. Root is also top notch. You can you can probably get away with Shantoto just like I said a little harder because she's not as easy to do the um, paralyze or things like that. So that's gonna be a little funny you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys let me know what your guys' clears were. If you used Shantoto or not. Let me actually let me know. If you watched all the uh, all the way let me know if you use Shantoto or not. Um, I know she can do it though. I know it's possible. So let me know guys down below what your what your clears were and let me I'll see I'll see you in the next time. Peace.